to a short video about STS-4 live boot hints and uh, highlights and hovers. I have a problem in my app, right? And in owner's uh, request mapping that my owner search service returns empty results. So I found the owner's request mapping and I can verify that with the live hint that I have here, right? So it's a green box, uh, live hints are, uh, highlights are green boxes around mainly annotations in your source code. Uh, so th those are usually the places where beans are defined, where it in or injected into. So uh, if we hover on this live request mapping, right, I see that it's active. It has a live uh, request mapping URL, it has some information about the process from where this request mapping has been extracted from. So let's get back to the problem. So the problem is with the own research service. So let's navigate to its definition. And I can see that it's being wired into you know, the Saturn but let's hover on, uh, let's see how this live bean information can help us. So if we hover on the controller, right, so we can see all the beans that are being wired in or where this controller is being injected into. So since it's a controller bean, it's not really injected into anything, right? But we can see there are beans that are wired into it. So this arrow left means that beans are being wired in. And I can see that there is owner repository and empty owner search service being wired in. So there is more detailed information about it. Or there is a ambient ID type and resource if resource is available. Um, and you know, our controller bean ID and again some process information. So we could see that uh, there is uh, uh, auto wired annotation, so that's where empty owner search service is being wired into this controller. We could also see a highlight over the uh, constructor here for the owner repository, right? So there is no Otherwise, it's uh, annotation, but for components, uh, constructors with uh, uh, with uh, parameters have parameters as implicitly auto wired beans. So that's why on the repository is a wired in bin, right? So let's go back to our auto wired. You can see that I have to hover on on a highlight to get the information. So if it's too annoying, you could turn on code lens. Uh, preference, right? And that would show you some little summary of what the hover is going to be about. So for beans, it gives us in uh, beans uh, that are being auto-wired in this bean and where this bean is being injected into, right? So for auto-wired, uh, we, we only get beans that are injected in, in into it, right? So let's uh, navigate to the type of this empty search service and we could see that you know, the type kind of has expected implementation, right? It just returns an empty list. Uh, but if we navigate to the resource where this bean is defined, that would might be more interesting, right? So this is where it's defined with this app bean annotation. We can see that there is a bean that's being wired in, which is on the repository, right? And there is a bean where this owner search service is being injected into, which is owner controller where, where we just have arrived here from, right? So uh, we could see there is an if, right? And if uh, is search is false, empty owner search service is returned as owner search service, right? So uh, let's see why properties is search is false. So it's coming from properties, which is again an auto wired bin. Uh, so let's navigate to its type because something might be wrong with the type, right? And we can see that it's configuration properties, right? So there is a pet clinic owner's prefix. So pet clinic owner's search is externalized property by default false, right? So let's try and fix this property in the application YAML file. Uh, so it's pet clinic, pet clinic owner's search. Let's set it to true. So now ideally our bin should be uh, the right bin, not empty search service bin, but uh, the only search service. And yes, we can see that app has been restarted with DevTools. And now we see that it's owner search service being wired in. So that fixes our problem. Uh, so this information, this uh, highlights code lenses information about live beans is also available in VS Code. So if we open VS Code, we could see the same code lenses right, and same uh, highlights in our source code. So we hover on the controller, we could see the same report about being, beans being wired in. Uh, you could uh, also 
navigate to, uh, you know, in this case, to the resource where the bin is defined, which is here. You can see the same information, exactly the same. Uh, so you could also click on this uh, request mapping, live request mapping URL, and it will take you in the browser to this URL. Um, so that's that's it. That's a quick overview of uh, uh, STS4 Live, but highlights and and hovers for you. Thank you for watching.